on. What up, what up, what up? This is your boy Ocean. This is Ocean's View podcast. Um, you see right now, you know, I'm on my Jeff Epstein. You know, I'm in, I'm in, I'm on the moon. I'm, I'm on different planets now. I don't even stay on Earth no more. You know, what I'm saying? I'm, I move around. As y'all can see, before I was on, I was on COVID Island, but now I'm up in the stars doing whatever I feel like doing. Um, we back this week. We back this week with the lovely Miss Irie. She's back, looking real Earth the kit, kittish. You know, you know with the tiger print and everything. Willie Negro, looking like what up. Looking like he ready, you know, for his daytime job and stuff, you know, getting back in that professional look or whatever. Um, so, you know, we used to chill and shout out little brother Devin Naps and um, Cocktails After Dark. You know, we don't know who will join in tonight, but um, we here. So, I was on social media, as I always am, combing the internet, trying to figure out what I'm going to talk about, um, what things are going to jog my memory in terms of, you know, where I want to go. And I came across a, a, a lady's, a young lady's post, and this lady kind of always puts a lot of sensational things. Um, she's good looking, so she gets a lot of response, a lot of responses and everything, so I get it. But she put a very interesting post and I said, you know what? I'm not going back and forth with her because as the kids were saying, there was a lot of capping going on, just a lot of pandering towards the young lady. And I wasn't there for that. She puts a post up and it says, a man has 24 to 48 hours to plan a date after getting my number. If not, he's blocked. I don't waste no time. I thought that was, as my man Willie Negro would say, outrageous i thought that was outrageous and i did have different feelings on it because part of me was like the first thing people as humans what we do is what somebody says and what you hear are totally different so to be fair to the post i read and i understood what she posted but what i heard was ultimatum and you know what i didn't like it i didn't like it one bit i didn't like the fact that you're talking about, see, because I went into the comments. And so a few guys gave some pushback, like, yo, what do you mean? You don't you don't tell me when to plan a date or how things go. And she said, no, you don't have to go out on a date in 24 to 48 hours, but you have to at least have it planned. And even with that, I still was disgusted. Like, I, it read in my mind, ultimatum. And it, it reeked of audacity that I just wasn't on the same page with. And this wasn't about, this wasn't about being a man that can't plan a date, that can't, you know, do things on the whim or whatever. But it was kind of throwing, throwing me off because I thought a date was about getting to know the person. And she also said on the post, forget all that. She used another piece of language, but she said, forget all that getting to know somebody, want, um, wait, wasting time getting to know somebody. I want to see action. I want to see you take me on a date. Mm. And I'm looking like, oh, so she's one of those that's just looking for the good meal and outing. And I'm looking like, as bad as it is, and I want Irene to talk, start talking to this because the young lady is attractive. So right. I'm pretty sure she's either hinting at that to dudes and they quick to jump out there and do it. Right. Because like I said, women are, women is two kind of women, which which is more, I know that, but in terms of dating, eight o'clock and 2 a.m. And she is an eight o'clock. She's a nice piece of arm candy that you would like to be seen outside with. But clearly what she got going on upstairs, I ain't feeling. So as a woman, what, what are your thoughts on that kind of, that kind of mentality in terms of virtually and metaphorically putting a gun to a guy's head saying he's got 24 to 48 hours, which is two days to plan a date or he's getting blocked. So 24 to 48, I think that's kind of like, that's, that's kind of soon unless it's like 24 to 48 to like meet up 
and see each other and fill each other out. But like, as far as a planned date, I think it's too soon. I also think she posted that as a hint. You, you went, you say that. It seemed like she posted it, put it out there. So it's almost like moving forward. If you coming in my inbox or whatever, you got 24 to 48 hours because it also seems like she already been wasting her time with people, right? It sounds like she already done did the trying to get to know and wasted her time. She's saying show some effort moving forward. I don't think that might have been her, her stilo like before. I think moving forward, she's saying this is what I want. And then she put it on social media so that anybody who may want to ask her out in the future, remember this, because this is my disclaimer. So don't come in my inbox or whatever, or don't come up to me asking me, can we do this? Can we do that? She's saying, in 24 to 48 hours, have a plan. First of all, it's Kat. She's lying. You think 100%. so? 100%. Do you know her? You know her? No, oh. not at all. But she's lying. It, it, because it just depends on who the guy is. Who was he driving? Who was he wearing? You see what I'm saying? Like, yo, my thing is so this. maybe, maybe she's not talking about the ones that's not driving or wearing. But no, it's thing, but the thing is, the thing is, if he pulled up in the G wagon, he got more than 48 hours. One, you're not blocking, you you're not blocking him, period. He can wait a month. And you do like, well, he got a G-Wagon. We'll see where it's going. You might be a little salty, you know what I mean, when he called, but you're not blocking him. Now, if you met him at the gas station and he was driving a Honda or something and you kind of gave him the number because he looked okay, but you mm -hmm. was like, all right, we'll see where this go. You know what I mean? You'll, we'll see where this go. Then you then, then it's like, all right, well, he ain't called me, so block this nigga. But, man, if he had a little something, a little something on, was looking like a little something, looking like a little money. Yeah, that, that grace period is way longer than, than, than two days. I think it was strictly for Facebook. She posted it on Facebook. I think it was strictly for whoever is coming in her inbox on Facebook. But I think it's deeper than just what she posted on Facebook. Because if this is, point this, I got this thing. If, if, if you tell me who you are, I'm going to believe you. I'm gonna believe you. But so, she said, she said enough with wasting her time. That's why I'm telling you, she already had her time wasted. That's, but I'm trying that's, to figure out how do you get your time wasted? First off, what's confused me, it's a, it's a few things to unpack. What's confusing to me is this. And I'm not, I'm not here just picking on her because mm -hmm. there are a lot of other women out here that have this same mentality. Not per se the 24 to 48 hours, they're not saying it that way, but all right, let me clear it up. Guys, we don't perceive going on multiple dates as wasting time because right. the whole thing is this. Regardless of, this is my thing, and I want people to hear this clear. When people say things like, oh, I'm dating with a purpose. Or I'm, I'm, I don't want to waste time. Guess what? You can't skip the process. You still have to fill out the exact point. This right. person that's looking to get married is filling out the same application as the person that's just looking for sex or just looking for a companion. That the application doesn't change. It doesn't change. You still have to go through those steps. So if you're looking for a, a husband or a wife or this, that, and the third, you still have to go back to square one. And it's still, look here, I want to get to know you. She's saying getting to know you is wasting time. You have to take me on a date. So I'm so I'm perplexed. And, you know, of course, you being um, one of the women here and a woman of the world, this is my thing. I don't understand what's confusing me is, what do you mean getting to know you is wasting time? Because... To me, a date is better once you actually do know the woman yeah. or the person better. 100%. Because the thing, and I see Will not to say because he knows where I'm going with this because it's different. So now I'm going to take him, I'm going to um, add on to what a lot of what Will just said. Now, if I feel that 
I'm getting to know you. You said some things and I'm putting things together. Like, you know what? I know a nice place I can take her. That's being considerate and getting to know you. And then I can put something together. Right. I'm, I'm going to show a certain level of effort. Now watch right. this. Now watch this. If I'm a cat with a disposable amount of money, that's mm-hmm. easy to wow you. It's easy to wow you. I could take you to the to whatever roof, Chris, off top. That ain't no thought. I'm, and it is no disrespect to the dudes. I could I can go to whatever whatever restaurant I want. But let's just talk about dudes that are just openly spend. Yo, I, I ain't got no problem spending thirty five hundred dollars on a date just to do that, which I think is outlandish. But let's just say you part of that income where you just like it's whatever. This is where women get it twisted. You run into those kind of dudes and be thinking that you're about to lock that dude down. You ain't locking that dude down because guess what? His money ain't changing. His Mm -hmm. money ain't changing. He Mm -hmm. can do that with anybody. Mm -hmm. He shows you because Mm -hmm. you look like something. That Mm -hmm. doesn't mean there's nothing special about you. He spent, play this, I know dudes that's of that life that'll go on three or four dates, different chicks that be looking like something in a week. Them niggas spend $8,000. And it meant nothing to them. But guess what? After they don't wild them, hold on, I'm let you go. After they don't wild them, after they don't wild them, them chicks is calling a thousand miles an hour. And them niggas is curving them. Because they look like, yo, you didn't do nothing special. You just was something to look at. I could have picked anybody to go on a date with. Right. But my thing is, dudes that, 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 that might have a little something going on might be busy. Like two days, like, yo, I got to get to a bag real quick. All right, two or three days have passed. Let me call this chick that I got the number. Like, you literally could be blocking your blessing. Like, he, he want to get to know you. Like, yo, two days ain't a lot of time, yo. Pete, yo, do be busy. Like, people be busy. Like, no, two days. Into it. Two days is definitely a lot of time. I mean, it's not a lot of time. Two days is definitely not enough time. And I know with me, like, I'm real dramatic. And I be coming up with some wild shit, too. But that really was wild. Because two days, you trying to see if he a texter or do he like to talk on the phone. You know, like, in two days, you, you, you trying to see if he know how to spell in the text, like, is he shorthanding? Like, is he calling you? Talking nigga, if he can't spell, I'm but, sorry, that shit is crazy. But that's, <laughs> that's but that's, but but what I'm saying is now like, people get away with that because the first thing somebody is saying is, "Yo, we not in the spelling bee. This is just how I'm going." And I'm looking like, nah, nigga, because I know I might say doubles, but I'm definitely not writing D A. If I write D A <laughs> doubles, I did that on purpose. Like that, look, but nah, she you giving know, y'all the first. It's pretty much the first 48. It's pretty much the first 48. Figure it out, figure it out. That's what she said. And I'm saying, get way the fuck out of here. That's that's cat. That's that's not true. If you interested, in, say, if you interested in somebody and you gave them your number, uh, you're not just but going to not, them, but she's not really interested. I'm telling you, she put that on Facebook for them Facebook people in she's real life, dinner. like y'all say, it's cap in real life, like y'all say, she waiting a little bit longer, especially for that guy who she might she might be interested in, not necessarily him interested in her, but she might be like, she'll wait a little longer if she's interested in him, man. Everybody makes exceptions to their rules when it's somebody that they like. It's always an exception to be made. I don't care if you got deal breakers. Sometimes someone can come along and make you break one of them deal breakers, just like you said. So all the time, all the time, the the person that comes along. I just think it's for social media. I think it's for social media. She probably got a lot of likes, a lot of comments, and she got men in there pandering in the comments and then she got women who you know agree and then people might have just liked it because it's just her it was a whole I, bunch of from women yeah. it was a whole bunch of that part that part so, you know what i'm saying and i'm just looking like so all these that parts so women are really out, nigga. women are really out here talking about oh you got 48 hours to plan it. I don't want to get to know you first. Okay, bet. 
So let's let's just play devil's advocate. You go on this date. Mm -hmm. You haven't spoken to him for a day or so because all he did was pretty much say, look here, I got reservations here. Da 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 da. And y'all go. So what so y'all are y'all are at the dinner table or whatever, doing whatever, asking a billion and one questions because you said you don't want to get to know him because that's a waste of time. To me, right. that part was ridiculous. Uh, it's a waste of time for me to call you up, have conversations with you to see some of the things you look this. I'm not going to get to know everything about you in two days, but we can have no. a conversation on the surface of some things that you like to do places you like to go. See what I think that was, what that was part of women. I don't, let me ask you this. What is it with women being like when a guy be like, it's whatever you want to do. Like, what do y'all have against that? Me personally, I don't have nothing against it. Whatever I want to do, okay. Because I'm I'm simple. Like, you know where I want to go. I want to go get some damn crabs, okay? Yeah, that's but what outside I of you, because you got other friends. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you got friends that, that talk like that. I think, I think the whatever you want to do comes after like no effort has been shown. Like it's almost like that's when the whatever you want to do comes in and it irritates us because we're like, well, when are you going to plan something or just show that um, you're thinking about me? Like, I think that's when it comes in. I don't think that in the beginning, I don't think in the beginning it's like that. I think too much of whatever you want to do would really upset you. If I said that to you more than once, you're going to be like, what you, you know, like. No, no. Not if no? you're serious. Not if you're serious. Because I will do what I want to do every time. Every but time. Women, women, like to, women like to be, they like to be led. And it's a little lazy. Whatever what, do what, whatever you want to do is a little lazy. Right. You know if, it's, mean? if it's all the time, like I said, because sometimes we might want to do something, but we just like, maybe he don't want to do it. So then he'll say, okay, whatever you want to do. Then you get to explore and show him what you want to do. But like I said, if it's been said numerous times and he has yet to put forth, forth any effort, then maybe that is what really upsets the women. But that's where that's where that's where what Ocean said comes in. So if you get to know somebody, you can kind of see what they into and then right. it'd be better. You can plan a date that they might like. And you won't have to say, well, we could do whatever you want to do. You, you, get, you have a little conversation. You're like, oh, all right, well, she like this. You know what I mean? I'll take her here. You know what I right. mean? She might like that. You know what I mean? So right. to say it's a waste of time getting to know you just mean you just want me to spend money on you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's, and that, uh, and even though there's a violation, that part, because what you call it, <laughs> no, because for real, Outrageous. I'm looking like, no, because, because the thing about it is this, it's like guys aren't as cheap as women like to give it up for. Is it some cheap dudes out here? Absolutely. They're really but, not. It's almost on dudes it. actually yeah. understand put in, a, put in a little effort, wanting to do stuff with a woman. We're not talking about a dude just trying to get some pussy and he's just trying to do bare minimum things. All, All right. right. Okay. This let, let me ask you this. And you can answer personally, but you can also answer for friends you have. And it's mostly I'm looking at what kind of people you got around you and who you've seen. Okay. As a guy, I don't think nothing is wrong because I hate when I hear women say, oh, let's not just do a movie and dinner. I hate that because to me, a movie and dinner to me is a nice prequel to another great date afterwards. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm so what's the afterwards? Another great date afterwards, like after the the no, not after movie? the date, the next time, the, the next, next time. the next outing, and okay. you know why is this? Here go if it's safe, and we're not just talking. Well, it could be a blockbuster movie. It could be just a movie that y'all both seen is coming out that you both are like, oh yeah, I want to see that. Mm -hmm. I hate when women say this kind of silly shit. They say. Don't take me on a dinner and uh, a movie and dinner date because we can't talk inside the theater. And every time I see a woman say that, I really want to respond, stupid. You're not talking in the theater. You're going to talk at dinner. 
that's going to be the icebreaker. That's how, that's how you're going to get to everything else because you're both in the dark. No, we're not going to be whispering at each other. We're going to be eating popcorn from one bag. Like, okay, after the movie, we're going to hop in the whip, go to a restaurant, wherever that one is. Yo, that movie was all right, man. Remember this part? Did you know this? And guess what? The conversation is going to go there. Both of y'all guards are slowly coming down. And then now the conversation starts flowing into other things. But when women say shit like, this is how I, this is how I perceive it. Oh, don't take me on a movie and dinner date because we can't talk in the movies. Oh, so you just want me to take you on an action date. You just want me to take you on an action date. And to me, like Will said, that ain't no, that ain't no real big thing to do. I can take you to a date that is like, oh, this was fun. But how much fun really going to have? Because we're not even sure that we both even want to do this kind of thing because we jumped out there so quick, so quick so, just to do this thing. So are so, you against the movie and the dinner? The no, dinner, I'm, not, the I'm the dinner. not against the movie and the dinner because I like movie and the dinner, but I think it's more romantic. That's why I would think it would be a little later in like the dating, because I'm kind of like the movie. I want to be a little close, want to touch, you know. Go ahead and touch. Right, but, touch. but but no, like to you got to feel whatever type of chemistry you have. I feel like movie and the dinner for me is going to involve some type of chemistry to me. That's what I think. I think so. Early on, maybe not the first date, but maybe the maybe the third date, like after you fill them out a little bit, I feel like movie and a and a dinner date. I would I would love that. I would think it's like romantic because you kind of close in proximity, and then maybe when you get to the dinner, y'all want to sit next to each other instead of across because when y'all was in the theater, you know. So with me, I I would enjoy it. I would enjoy it. The first date. Maybe not so, because like I said- first date? What would be a good first date to you? It's a good question. A, a good is. first date, um, somewhere where you can hear each other. Like, because I, I do feel like the first date, you are going to be talking, you're going to be asking questions. You can hear each other at the crib. So <laughs> um, if you consider a date inside, I mean, you could plan it if you order food. We're gonna sit in. We're gonna talk. We're gonna X Y Z. And I have this this game that that I have this dating one on one game. So I don't see why, um, like something indoors is not. That's not a bad thing. It can be, but just bring that's, the game. Talk 50, it out. That's fifty fifty. Only reason why I'm saying it's fifty fifty is this: I've never, as a guy, as a man, I've never invited myself to a woman's house. That's for one. I just I don't I don't go that route because I have my. But own I'm spot. thinking he's talking about to his home. I ain't, okay, I ain't no, thinking about. No, I'm, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be women watching this that can say please on that part right there. They probably is like all kind of niggas have invited themselves to a woman's house. Me personally, that's just not how I'm built. And it's not about being the perfect dude or nothing. I just can't see. I've never saw me inviting myself to somebody to a woman's house without them saying something. Now, if she says something about it, okay. that's one thing. But I'm not going to be like, look here, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to come over and make you dinner in your house. No, we're not doing that. So not I'm necessarily that. that. Not necessarily that. But if we are being realistic, right? If we're being realistic in the, in, the, in the age of like social media, even though you may not have like seen them in a while, sometimes you reconnecting with people you seen, you know from years, right? You get on social media, y'all reconnect, y'all talk. And so it's some familiarity, familiarity there, right? And so y'all may exchange numbers and y'all may talk over text, you know, and talk over the phone. And then so she the media- She said that's a waste of time. No, that's for her. I'm talking about in reality. This okay. is how stuff goes. So then you meet up, you talk, you know, y'all getting reacquainted. And so- Y'all might just want to not, you know, have all the hustle and bustle outside and you want to take it in the house. But that's, you know, a, that's and talk. No. But 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 what I'm saying is realistically, most of the times when you connect with somebody on social media, I know with me, when I connect with somebody on social media, it's never 
nobody that I don't already know or aren't or I'm not familiar with. That's what I'm saying. So for me, like something, um, something slight, like in the house, it's not a, a really big deal. But that's for if, but I hear you, but that's only if it's somebody that you reconnect them with. We talk right. about a complete stranger. Complete for the record, stranger. I was just, that was a joke. I'm never bringing somebody to my house on the first date and I don't want to go to somebody else's house. But, it's, but it's not necessarily like the first date, but if you say it like, I told y'all what I did. I told y'all I was like, all right, let's not go out. Let's not drink glass. Yeah, but you, but that don't let's count drink. because you knew them. You know them. But but what I'm saying is, for my reality, I'm not really dealing with no strangers. I, I'm I, that's just me, and I think that's for a lot of my girlfriends too. It, it ain't really yeah. like I'm meeting somebody from New York. It normally be people you might have like lost touch with, grew up with. Stuff like that in my oh, area. What if you was at the gas station and this uh, a nice looking fella just pulled up on you, said you look nice today, and you know. No, I got a, a, my gas station story for today. I was going and I was pulling up. Of course, my tank on my side. I pull up because I gotta go to work. So the man ahead of me, he was trying to pull in, but I had already pulled up, and I gotta go. So I'm filling up, and he like. So I'm thinking he mad at me or whatever. So I get out the car and I'm like, I'm sorry. So he goes to the other side and he's like, um, can we drink some wine? You drink wine. And I'm like, I don't got time for real because I got to go to work. If I don't get out of here, I'm going to be late. So no, I'm not meeting nobody at the gas station. Well, <laughs> no, that's crazy. In the words of French Montana, Bitch, don't block, block your, your blessings. blessings. You block <laughs> your blessings. You don't like. I didn't because I'm in the gas station and I'm pumping my own gas. And you saying, do you want to go get some wine? I don't. I don't. I'm going to work. So I you don't think he was talking, talking about you ever going to meet like a stranger, somebody yeah, you don't know amazing. That, that's going to come up to you and talk to you. No, I can't. Well, I'm weak. First of all, we was talking about social media. We were no, talking you about the real life though. I did because what I said was in reality, that's how a lot of people meet. They are in reality, you can meet somebody. You yeah. can meet you could, somebody. But I was just talking, yes, I can meet a stranger on the street. I'm open. But to I'm asking someone. you a question. So if you met a stranger on the street yeah. and you and you found him attractive and he wanted to go out with you, what would be a good first date? Because you are you just going, you're not gonna bring a stranger to your house. No, okay. So if I meet someone on the street. A good first date, it would be something like maybe sitting down a cigar lounge, like if they like cigars or something what like that. A cigar smoke? lounge. Say it again. What if you don't smoke? If you don't smoke cigars, um, I got a nice little Thursday spot I like. They play a little bit of RB music, and you can go in there and like sit down and talk a little bit. Um but really, if he wanted to take me out, I guess I would be down for him inviting me to something that he liked to do. But it, it really, with me, as long as my company is good, I'll do pretty much anything. And I'm, I'm honest, like as long as the company good, I'll, I'll try anything. And if it's, especially if it's something I never, I never did before. So for me, when I, I felt like I found the golden ticket once I realized, you know what the best. I might go call them first dates. And I started, I started um really honing in on prequels to dates. Uh -huh. You know what the best prequel to a date is? Drum roll. Happy hour. Happy hour. Happy hour is the best prequel to a date. You know why a happy hour is the best prequel to a date? Is because it answers a few things for you. Uh -huh. First thing it does it takes the edge off in terms of impressing the person either way. Now, we not talking about, you forget a happy hour, dudes might not wear some of their best stuff. They're going to be casually cool. The right. woman, she doesn't have to be told, look here, um, I know y'all got this 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 dream of of a guy just saying, here, I just sent you this Vera Wayne or whatever and stuff like Dress. that. Dress. No. <laughs> Put on your nice little jeans and stuff, whatever blouse, hook it up. But it's something that's casual. And mm -hmm. I will meet you there because for one, you drove there alone. I drove there. So 
nobody's getting left. Nobody's feeling like they're forced. Like, damn, if I'm if I don't like the company, I gotta wait until this person say let's go, or I gotta right. say something. No, that's what it does for one. Then it also it gets to show me how you are in public settings. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because the difference is this: we're in that public setting. Somebody might walk in that knows you. Somebody might walk in that knows me. And we mm-hmm. can, I want to see how you navigate that. Hey, how you doing? Yo, this is my friend Ocean. What's going on? Such and such. Yeah, this is my friend Ivy. You know, we just chilling. Word I bet. You get right. to see that in. You really do truly get to see how they are in public in. At the same time, you get to see how they are as persons and, you know, just talking and you getting to know them. That's when what Will was talking about while you're talking there because y'all clearly eating your wings or whatever, your chicken tenders. And that's another thing too. Cost effectively, nobody's Careful. feeling bad. Nobody's feeling bad. Nobody's <laughs> feeling bad. Only thing, that, only, thing, only thing that somebody you can spend a couple of dollars on is the drinks. And you know what I'm saying? Unless somebody is a ridiculous lush, if they just a ridiculous lush and they getting drunk, you about to have another kind of first date. But at the same time, you get there, Yo, look here. Oh, I got your drinks. Don't worry about it. And in a dude's mind, I, I could I probably spend 50 or 60 dollars on her drinks if that's what it is. And a lot of women don't aren't really a lot of women are drinkers, but for the most part, women don't like to get sloppy drunk. Y'all like to get nice and buzzed or whatever. And on top of that, truth be told, a dude don't really want you wasted unless you his girl already. Because for one, he's going that's to that's eternal. Protected. Yeah. He's going to you no. Know, if you as girl or you as wife, they get drunk. Um, Negro, me, we driving home. We already know what kind of night is about to be. You see, what I'm saying. I'm married what? for ten years, yo. I know what type of night is going to be. She going to sleep. See, exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want her to get drunk at all. He trying okay. to make it but, like it. No, but you understand what I'm saying, though. It's like, yo, guys are allowed a woman to get twisted because I'm, I'm telling you, plenty of nights liquor has worked in my favor and plenty of nights liquor has worked against me. And I'm like, damn you, Mad Dog 2020. Like, it doesn't <laughs> do nothing. Like, shit. Mad Dog is outrageous. No, I'm just, Mad Dog 2020 is just a metaphor for drinks because, you know, I'm sitting there stoned with mind up like, well, feeling good yet? You know what I'm saying? Type thing. But that's... I'm be honest, though. I ain't, I ain't take girls on dates, yo. I was broke, yo. I met my wife when I was broke. So, you know. And that was yeah. it. She, she snatched you up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She 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 did good, too. I make, I make good money now, but I was broke then. You know what she, I mean? So when, when, when I used to mess with... Oh, she saw something in you. I used to mess with chicks. It would be like, look, we can hang out. That's what it was. And I hung out. Hanging out. What a few. No dating. Yeah, y'all was broke. Now, he's not friend. I'm telling you, point this. There's a few guys that I go out with um, that, uh, how do I say this without sounding too Michael Jordan-ish? All right, look here. I normally go out. We talking all single time. I'm going out. I'm having a good time. I'm looking to slide. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking to get up out there with something. And I have a pretty good ratio of sliding. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's documented. Niggas have seen it. And he and like my brother knows I wasn't driving, I didn't have the best job, but I was getting out of there with an eight and above, just off of whatever. But I done been out with this cat Negro a few times, and it'd be a few, it was a few times the chick that I'm looking at, she's looking at him, and I'm looking like no hating. It's like, yo, my nigga, she looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Type thing. For the most part, he chills, but at sometimes, hey. They just all over him. You see what I'm saying? Dudes, other dudes in the club looking at him like, who is this nigga right here? Not knowing this nigga has all of $17.22 <laughs> on him. That's it. This nigga has $17.22. Will, <laughs> man. Yo. Oh, man, I was, yo, I keep it 100. Like, I ain't had no money, man. I, yeah. and, and when I say I was broke, it's relative, but I ain't had no money to spend on nobody. Exactly. Right. That, that's right. what I was going with it. That's what I was going with it. So now, nah, like, you know, but women just got to get out of their own way with that with that kind of mentality. You know what I'm saying? Saying, don't get to know me. Ladies, y'all need to start knowing these dudes or whatever, because 
I agree. A great first great, of all, it's not yeah, not safe. It's not safe. Exactly. It's really, it's really, really not safe. And it's it's yeah. So why was the for let men know now? Yeah. <laughs> the much. wifey. And she get whatever she want now, top shelf, all that. Top shelf, whatever. So right. Right. So I'm looking at this other joint and um it says um married men, but this can go vice versa. This can go either way. This is why I found I found this topic to be um a little intriguing. Married men, why do y'all listen to social media and marry an average looking woman without that without that sauce? Then be on social media liking pics of hot chicks and half-naked women. DMing her hearts and telling her how fine she is, knowing she only dates men who pays bills. Are you that in lust or were you dishonest about what turns you on? Something isn't right. First off, I thought that was ridiculous too. And cause, and as bad as it sounds, and I hate to keep sounding, as my homegirl Tiana say, of the Samuelites, because she thinks I'm in love with Kevin Samuels and his philosophy, Aww. which I'm not. But that was ridiculous. Like women just... I'm looking at some of these topics. I'm like, yo, y'all are just saying anything. First off, let's break that down. The whole point of you're marrying average looking woman. First off, that's subjective. That's subjective to saying who's average and who's not. And then you're saying hot chicks and all this other stuff. First off, you know what I always find funny? Shallowness, you know, it can come, it can come in both genders or whatever. And it I'm, does, not can And it does. And I want you to speak, you being a woman, I want you to speak towards the men. But I'm saying, let me get off my shit first in terms of what I'm seeing when I'm seeing women put these pictures up on social media. Okay, I've seen women that look extremely attractive or whatever, at least to me. They look attractive. They try to put a certain, when they're talking about something, Ain't nobody really paying me no mind. Then about 20 minutes later, voila, they put a picture up showing all their assets. Next thing you know, in, in 10 minutes, they got 200 likes on it. So I'm looking like, so when you had, when, when it was something that you had to think of, nobody was feeling you. So that already, that's already giving me Ke Kelly Bundy vibes or whatever. Like, yo, Niggas ain't paying you no attention when you want to talk. Now, this whole thing about why are you looking at women that look like this and then you average, a, you date, you marry an average looking woman. First of all, let me tell you this. What dudes like and what they marry are not always the same thing. And it's not always mutually exclusive either. This is what I mean by that. Yo, yes, dudes like to have a woman that other dudes might be like, damn, she look good too. Right. But if your whole makeup is, I want the world to know what, look at me physically, and this is what I want you to judge me on with everything else. Dudes mm -hmm. ain't feeling that. Dudes mm -hmm. don't really want, play like this, dudes with money, they can tolerate trophy chicks a lot more than a dude that ain't really got a lot of bread. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of bread doesn't mean you're broke. Let's just say you're working, and you making some good money and stuff, but you look like I'm not just throwing my money away on anybody because that whole trophy thing, it gets played out after a while. It gets played out. And I'm not saying dudes is the only one that wants substance because I'm pretty sure women want substance as well. Yes. They want absolutely. substance as well. But mm -hmm. don't get it twisted. You don't think we don't. You don't think my wife is liking pictures. You got these niggas with the six pack. I ain't got no six pack. I got no six pack. That shit is not a six. My shit is more like a cave. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. ain't no six pack no more. Them days are over. Well, they over. They over until I go to um, Dominican Republic. And when I do go to Dominican Republic, when I come back, I just need y'all to mind y'all. What they say? Anyway. Oh, you're going. You're going to get your. You're going to put your. You're going to get a fat transfer. Oh, you're going to get liposuction. I don't know what I'm getting. All I'm saying is this. When I come back <laughs> and I got a six pack, mind That's your crazy. business. Just mind your business. Mind, mind no your business. questions. Just assume a brother is in the gym. I'm going to put I know, I know what's going on. 
I'm going to put Mad Jim pictures up and just be like, damn, this nigga got results, man. Quick. That's all you need to know. Right? <laughs> exactly. I know exactly where he's going. I know where you're yep. going. I don't even know where I'm going. I just said Dominican Republic because I heard that shit from females. So <laughs> whatever. I don't <laughs> know where to go. If there's some place in the States I can go, please tell me. But anyway, I say all that to say this. That stat that that woman put up, that could work both ways. Because some of these chicks that be um, a real, real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Yo, I don't like to judge dudes, but let's just keep it 100. I'm like, these niggas ain't no fucking super interest Elvis ass niggas as y'all as the woman be talking about and you're like oh so that's your husband and it's bad but it's like yo it is what it is so don't so lose me and I know where I want to go so lose me with that yo dudes y'all because it makes it sound like y'all trying to say we only looking at unattainable women and this that in the third I don't think the woman is unattainable it's just niggas understand that way but it works both ways because chicks y'all not out here marrying fucking um um these 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 supermodel Tyson Beckford and I'm those the older dudes them kind of niggas and all that y'all we don't see y'all marrying them either. So, First of all, but, married men shouldn't be in DMs trying to do nothing with nobody. Now that we got that out of the way, men like titties. <laughs> That's a <laughs> fact. Men <laughs> like asses. <laughs> And the last time I checked, married men are still men. So they're going to like that. And why would you assume that because they're liking pictures on the internet that their wife is average? So because, because when you, if you marry a bad one, she's not the only bad one. Like when you see these pictures and you know that men like titties and ass, then they like the picture, whether they like it physically or not. They like the picture. You know that they like it. We know that we like it. Like what, this is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. You know what? I'm a. And we all know that when people post on social media, it is from a personal standpoint. I don't care how general they try to make it seem. You post something on social media, you have some type of knowledge of it. So with me, I think whoever posted it, no, and it's probably just one man. I'm telling it's probably just one man in particular that's you know that she's thinking about but so she goes and posts it and just generalizes about how you know men in general are liking other women's posts and in their dms when it's just this one man that did it to her and so she's bringing it to social media and and i would venture to say that most men don't marry average women if you married her she ain't average to you that's what I be trying to say. Like everybody ain't getting married. Like but a lot don't, of these chicks that, 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 that look is awesome. crazy is not married. They, they they might look crazy. They might look like X, Y, and Z. But on in every other category, they might be below average. Men is not just marrying average women. Like you marry you 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 propose to a woman for a reason. Like everybody ain't getting married and proposed to yo. So I'm going to, I'm gonna agree with you on that, but, but know that not all men are going to be as stand up as you, before you even started talking, you said, first of all, married men shouldn't be in DMs and stuff, right? Because that's how you feel. But let's not forget that. I'm not going to say it's not the majority, but even the minority are coming into DMs are propositioning women because yes they are yes they're coming in there and they are lying listen and they're lying about their marriage they're lying about why they got married they're lying about a whole lot of things just to try and 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 get whatever they they trying to get from whoever they're dming so although you are one of the stand-up men there are many that aren't right and so like i said 
when she made this post, she made this about probably someone specific. Not even, it's like I said, it's generalized, but she probably talking about somebody specific who did it to her, who's saying, you know, I ain't trying to da da da. I'm 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 letting you know because I'm, yeah, no, I'm, not, not, I'm not throwing no I'm not under the bus. But as well, she a woman, shouldn't even throw somebody under the bus because she's but, but she but she not did. but she not because I'm t the way it is on social media, like that's just how it is. Nobody ain't going on there and telling all of their business. Sometimes well, going, people are people are people are. Well, she could have just said are. it's this people guy, are. but that, what I'm that's saying, married. She could have said it's this I'm guy that's married and she and he keep doing X, Y, and Z, but she generalized and said so she generalized, man. but but every but there is a woman out here that can probably attest to a man that's Murray coming into her DM and and, and 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 trying to do the spill and say stuff. So what I'm saying is is like like I said, you are one of the ones who like look, this is what you shouldn't be doing, and you're not doing it. But we know that there are some that are doing it. So that's who she's talking about. And it's a and it's true to, to the ones that do it. You don't do it. You know what I'm saying? But let's not act like it it's not happening because it is happening. And people are really like, they throw the wife under the bus. And like, I understand. And that's why I addressed that because part. Because this the first. shit, social media, social media has made it so easy for you to attain shit you can lie about shit you can pretend with it so you can have this whole illusion because that's what it is like you can create this whole illusion people could come in and tell you what they got and don't got shit you like, can also it, create bullshit narratives and have women rally creating it. listen so she she created that from some bullshit that happened to her or that she knows of but i'm but it's happening that's what I'm saying. It's you know, you know, we know, we know, no, we never said it's not happening. What we said, but the whole thing is for one, that kind of led me into something else I want to talk about too. What is it with women with y'all posting a, a a dude trying to holler at you and you posting this the DM or the text message that, um of him trying to holler at you? And if you're not interested. What is it with women doing that? Like, what's I'm, I really want to know what's the purpose behind that? Because I see women, or I don't see no dudes doing that. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I don't see no dudes being like, "Yo, this chick tried to holler at me," and da 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 da, and just putting up um, conversations and stuff like that. So, what what do women get out of doing that? I need I need I need the an answer for that because I saw that. I think I think women do it. I think I think women do it. It's almost like for for clout. It's, I don't know. It's like you do it just so somebody can know somebody trying to talk to you. That's the only reason I can really think of because it makes no sense. You're not interested. So, so why are you putting it on blast that somebody is trying to talk to you? Now, seeing it, that's all I can really think of. It's clout. It's clout because... I know people that tried to talk to me and then talk to somebody else I know. And I'm, and I ain't never said nothing because I'm like, look, I don't want him. Something done transpired into a whole marriage. And I didn't say nothing. And it was somebody that I knew because I'm like, it, it's really like, if I'm not interested, it makes no sense. So if somebody just going and posting a DM or a text message for somebody trying to talk to them, I think it's really just, Corny. Maybe they don't got, they don't have nothing going on. Maybe it's they don't have corny. nothing going on. They're the only ones that's trying to talk to them. Because it really, it don't make sense to me. It's corny. It's corny. And I'm going to tell you another thing that I've always known. That girl code shit is bullshit. And I'm going to tell you that shit is bullshit. Because a woman, a woman, uh, say if you have attractive friends, you ain't the mm -hmm. one in your group. Boom, a dude try to holler at you. You're not interested. He doesn't get small with you. He doesn't get nasty. You don't get nasty. You're not interested. But you got a friend. Two, three weeks later, he maybe doesn't even know that y'all friends. He catches up with her. Yo, and then now all of a sudden, you like, yo, um, he tried to talk to me too. Corny. So what? So what? He tried. You wasn't interested. But I'm right. going to tell you the funny thing, Will. Women will do this shit quick. And the difference is dudes is suckers behind it, but unless you have a conversation, is one thing. Chicks will holler at a dude 
knowing that that's his friend and stuff like that, and then try to play. The only difference is it'd be a lot of weak dudes out here that'll play that. Yo, I'm saying this is the worst thing dudes saying. I heard dudes, yo, yeah, I know him. That ain't my man like that. But yet it be a nigga that it really is his man. To me, now I'm a guy, and well, we've seen these situations come about too many times. 100%. I think that's one of the corniest things dudes do. You see what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't normally like to drop names, but I gotta give my man his props, and I'm not gonna get too deep into it. Shout out to my man Alfonso Lee, because one time he was like, yo, he told he told me about a situation. When he was, um, you know, out there dating and stuff, because he's married now, so I'm not causing that. When he was out there dating and stuff, he said it was a chick that tried to holler at at him after she tried to holler at another dude that we know and stuff. And she asked him, because to me, that's the that's the pivotal point. And she asked him, is that your friend? He said, yeah. And you know what his answer was? He said, yeah, that's my man. But what's up with me and you? That don't got nothing to do with us. What's up? Mm-hmm. And he, just, he kept it on. He kept it on. Yo, yeah, that's my friend, but clearly you're still interested in me, so what's up? And ever since then, I was like, you know what? That's exactly how dudes are supposed to carry it, but we know dudes ain't carrying it like that, and women only carry it like that once the dude is moved on. Oh, how you going to try to talk to my friend? Bitch, because your friend look good, too. That's why I try to talk to him. Like, shit, I didn't know all y'all... Y'all just all going to be in the same pack? I would have tried to talk to all four of y'all had I met y'all on different occasions. So listen, we got to stop that. Listen, I, I tend to... So I, a lot of my girlfriends, well, they're attractive. And so it's like you can, you can tell like a guy would be attracted to... Like, I'm like, I can see how he could be attracted to her as well. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a oh, if he liked me, he wouldn't like her thing. It's not that. It's like, a. I can see why he would be attracted to her because in my mind, I'm like, I think she's attractive too because, you know, women could do that. Women could be like, oh, she bad. So it's almost like, okay, that's my girlfriend. I mean, looking at her aesthetically, she's she bombs. So I can see why uh, this one guy would be attracted to both of us, right? And so... It's, it's never a surprise to me. It's never a surprise to me. Now, I don't think I broke girl code because I think I I would I would tell him. Like if we cool and, and friends and stuff and something come up and I happen to be dealing with, you know, somebody, somebody else dealt with or whatever, it's almost like I wouldn't break the girl code. I how say, look. You, how would you feel if uh, that guy that's maybe attractive both of y'all tried to start tried to talk to you for whatever reason it didn't work out, and then he start, you know, tried to talk to your girlfriend, and that that seemed like it was going somewhere. How would you feel about that? So the conversation could should be had, not could the conversation should be had, right? And because it's like put everything on the table. That's number one. Put it on the table. Have the conversation. The conversation between who? I guess you're well, her, well, her, her, her and I. Oh, her and you. Okay. Because if it's if it's done with me and she's, excuse me, and she's interested and she says that she's interested and you done, it's almost like, well, what can you do? What can you do? Talk to because, you. because you're saying something could develop between them. Yeah, but it, he tried then to at you, but you wasn't really interested. At all. Y'all didn't even go on a date or nothing. Yeah, right. Oh, even... oh that, no. Matter of fact, I would I would hope that I wouldn't even have to say nothing because me, I ain't going to throw it under the bus. If if he liked me, it didn't, you know, we ain't go nowhere, and then he liked somebody else, and they, and they you know, they're progressing, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. All right, but what if okay? What if what if what if, what if y'all went out uh-huh. and for whatever reason it just didn't work out, and you you ain't really you are you ain't really one of nothing. It, 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 and, it, no chemistry. And then, no then he starts talking to her, and then it was no. But that's what you're saying. If it was no chemistry of no chemistry, that's it. 
I'm not saying anything. If it was something and it ain't nothing no more, just to, you know, everybody be on the same page, I might say something. But if it was nothing, I'm not saying. My thing is, actually, I think this you could thing. say something. I think you could say something if it was nothing. Because my whole thing is this. What no, because is, because with women, with women, we will make nothing into something. We will make nothing. Oh, word, into word, y'all will. Oh, snap! I never thought of that. Did I, I never I didn't think y'all would do that. Shit. I never told y'all that I was fucking dramatic. I never told y'all that I be whining over shit that I created. I never told y'all that. I didn't know women did shit like that. I never told y'all that wow. I, I be tripping for like a few days and then I'm fine. I never told y'all that. <laughs> I didn't think women did stuff like that. You know, y'all always think level-headed, you know, never with emotions. I never told y'all that I was dramatic. All I'm, I'm very dramatic. That, all I'm saying is this. If if you did deal with a guy and y'all was whatever, I'm pretty sure your friend already knows that you've been dealing with this guy. So it wouldn't be a surprise to her. We're to now, it could be a surprise if it's a if it's a new friend. It could be a surprise if it's a new friend. Well, it's not and a new friend. If it's, if, if we're not, no, not even, it's really no rule for the new friend. What I mean by that is this. If it's somebody that you've dealt with, Clearly, you've had sex with y'all. Have dealt with each other. Your friends mm -hmm. don't even know who this person is. So dealing with that kind of dude is something totally different. Now, to me, that's when I feel girl code or whatever that is could probably be um be applied. But if it's clearly, look here, we went on a date. Yeah, didn't really go nowhere. He's a nice guy, but um, you know, it, it we didn't have chemistry. And then he starts talking to her. That's respectable. I still be like. I, I don't feel a huge conversation. Now, what I would say is, is that, oh, I, I know him or I know of him, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that because like it, if you put it out there that, oh, um, I know him, we went on a date, it, it could put something out like maybe he'll try to talk to her again. It's almost like to alleviate all of that. I'm not saying anything. That's just, that's just me. That's just me because if I see they got some sort of future, why would I do that knowing how women could be? Like how we can make something so small into so big. Like I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do it and I have not done it because I've been in a position where I could have, but I'm not doing it because I don't want you anyway. So I'm not doing it. I'm not and doing I had it. a friend, I had a friend, I had a friend um one time. I want you to call it. We was coming back from D.C., so I used to make my calls to see who I'm going, try to get up with before I leave D.C., because I'm like, once I'm out the city, I'm back in Baltimore. That's just that. So I'm making my calls. So then I start calling my Baltimore, whatever rotation, to see who's up. I I only had, now I had my phone. No, actually, I didn't have a phone. I, I think I had just a number inside my Somewhere else, probably a Rolodex or some shit like that or whatever, electronic joint. But I say all that to say this. I type, I dial the number. She doesn't pick up. About three minutes later, his phone rings. He's like, now I don't know who it is because it's his phone. He's like this. Now, mind you, this is before Bluetooth and the car picking up and everything. Uh -huh. so he's, like, he's like this. He's like this. Hello? He's like, what up? This, this is his response. He's like, what up? He's like, no, I didn't call you. I'm pretty sure. Now, once you hear the rest of the story, then you understand his response. He was like, no, I ain't call you. Oh, all right. Whatever. So he hangs up the phone. He's driving. He was like, yo, you just called such and such? I said, yeah. He was like, you know I'll be boning her, right? I was like, oh, shit. I had no idea. Mm. <laughs> No idea. And he was smacking it down and everything. And Were he, you as well? I know that I didn't I, I didn't hear that at that time. I had to fall back. Oh. I had to fall okay. back. I didn't okay. no now just for whatever, not even bragging, I hit it years later or whatever. But the whole thing was <laughs> I had to fall back right there because I didn't know he was sitting right there. And he was so stand up about it. It wasn't no type of yo. Yo, don't call. Yo, he he just looked over and was like, yo, you, you know I'll be hitting that, right? And his, you know I'll be hitting that. It wasn't one of those, 
Clearly, she gave you the number. Clearly, you've had conversations. And that's okay. Just know that I be still hitting that. So at that point, I can't. And I will continue to hit that. Pretty much. That's what he said. I'm going to continue to hit it. Let's see. And I can't do that. I can't do that with friends. I can't. Hold on real quick. The reason why I can't do that with friends is because you can't share that kind of um, woman. Because the whole point is this. He is not in a committed relationship with her. I definitely wasn't trying to get into a committed relationship, but I was trying to get in at least enough to chill out and hit. Mm -hmm. So that means if we both trying, I know for a fact he's hitting. I can't continue to keep trying to woo you, knowing, yeah. knowing, okay, when I'm calling you, even if you allow me to take you on a date, say she would have called me the next day and been like, yo, let's go on a date. And then after the date, nah, I'm just going to go home. No, you ain't. This nigga's going to call you up. You <laughs> going to go through. And this nigga's going to hit. That's all right. That's just, no, I'm not saying that that's what happened at all, but that's where my mind would go. So yeah. I'm like, I know myself enough to know, nah, I'm not built for that. You know what I'm saying? Not in terms of dealing with somebody. I'm, 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 I'm of a certain age, so I've had some wild nights where, you know, some things have gone down. But all right. I'm saying is, in terms of when I'm trying to talk to a young lady, and if my man is already smacking it, I'm falling back. You got that. You got that. Can but you- see, but that's what I was saying. Oh, wow. as far as that's what I was saying because, like, when you dealing with people, not everybody is talking and saying who they dealing with. Not everybody is saying I'm dealing that's with X Y Z. And so. When you find out, it could very well be a surprise because you're like, I never it's disclosed it. It's a surprise because it's a surprise because he wasn't exclusive with her. So if you're not exclusive with somebody, I don't expect for you to know somebody's rotation. But if you're right. all exclusive with somebody, if you, your friends, t- first off, if you're a guy, you need to let dudes know who your girl is. You know what I'm saying? And that's but, see, like but with women, but with women, it's it's kind of different. With, with yeah. women, it's kind of different because it's almost like you know y'all not exclusive. And sometimes women are exclusive with men and men aren't exclusive with them. So that's a whole Same level. Same that's thing. a whole level situation. So it's almost like I'm not walking around saying a nigga name, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't walking around saying I'm dealing with X, Y, Z, but, you know, you can have a general conversation and be talking about somebody without saying their name. That's what a lot of women do, because it's like, you don't want to, if he ain't yours, you ain't taking claim to him, you know? And that's that's how it is, you ain't, you're not really pillow talk. In the same way how he ain't really say nothing to you, because, like, he ain't doing no pillow talk, he ain't doing what he doing. So that's how it is possible to stumble upon somebody else that could be, you know, dealing with or did deal with and you not even know because you're not out here just, you ain't saying nothing because it's nobody's business. That's true. That's you know. True. So I was, um, that, that a lot of this stuff is going right into what I want to talk about. And so, when we were all talking over the over our group chat and everything, you know, preparing for the show and everything, um, and I put a I put the quote, um, how you what you lead with is how you get pursued. I didn't find that from nobody. That is not Nietzsche's. That is mine. <laughs> or whatever. Like I I came up with that right there on the spot. But it was based off of a few posts that I seen, and I was like, you know what? The thing you lead with is how you get pursued. So. I took that for both men and women, the women that put this up. No, honestly, this is the thing that made me really start thinking it. It was a lady that was on my timeline. I don't know her. She clearly has big breasts. But I mean to tell you, every single picture on her on her joint, this is all you see. This is all you see in her face. This is all you see. It's I like have- mother. Them joints was at least double D's or whatever. And I'm not really <laughs> a breast man. Huh? And this, can't is all, listen. this is all you see. This is all you see. And little faces. You see making the face. You, got like, you, you got know what the hell you doing. You know what the hell you doing or whatever. But yet, if 
dudes be over, put this, you're over sexualizing yourself, but you don't want a dude to come at you in that fashion. But this is what you're putting out there. And it's the same for the woman that's looking at the guy that's like, yeah, racks on racks on racks. You know, we balling, we doing this, that, and the third. Let's go to Dubai tomorrow and such and such, all this extra shit. For right. real. You know what I'm saying? So the thing you lead with is how you get pursued, but you get upset over it because somebody, yo, I don't want to, I don't want to just be used for money. But yet every picture you win, you got a stack of money to your ear, which is corny. You got stacks of money to your ear. You put money, you up there doing everything to show that, show that damn Gucci belt off. And I got Gucci belts and stuff and I get it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just looking like, yo, to me, it's ways to show your wealth without having to show it completely and still be real tactful and tasteful with how you do it. Because to me, the best way to show off your wealth is to make it look like it's nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like that, like it's just normal everyday thing. Me and my boy Negro, we always talk. Like I tell you now, I'm about to grab some crazy shit before next summer. <laughs> and I, hopefully it's before next summer, but definitely by next summer, God willing. Oh, I'm definitely going to be in there with a white tee on a pair of basketball shorts. And I'm hopping out in something nice. They going to be like, oh, shit. He treating that He treating that thing like, it, like it's a Honda. No disrespect to nobody but a Honda. But I'm just saying. I have a Honda. A I cool, know you do. That's what I said. A white pseudo coupe. You, you can get away with that. I could. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying the thing and how you lead it. But, you know, women are over-sexualized themselves because well, I don't know. Dudes, I don't know if dudes be on your timeline just holding their shit in their hand and all that, being like... What yeah. shit? They dingling? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, like, you know, a nigga just be on this shit like... Yeah, this shit is... This shit is no, but I, I do... I was... I'm in, a, I'm in a close... I am in a close friends with a, where he be... Where he... He be... Um, he, I'm he, just saying, he, I don't see no nigga on your timeline just like, yeah... No, not on the timeline. Not on the timeline. Oh, the close oh. friends. In the close <laughs> Hey, in the close friends, yeah, somebody be in there with they with they dingling. But you're saying the lady breasts are big, right? Yeah, it was huge. So 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 she couldn't hide them if she wanted to. So what she be wearing? Like low cut shirts? We didn't ask you to hide. What I'm saying is this. So so how so what's she so what's she doing to over sexualize the breasts? Because what you're doing right now. That's what she was doing. Oh, I'm my, my bra. Yes. <laughs> but, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just I saying. To, I'm just I was to my little bra. My no, I'm pretty sure. But, I'm but pretty it's sure. not just her though. It's not just her. You see, I don't even got no breasts. Look. It's it's anybody. Don't be don't it's be saying chef. that you like long walks in the park. And then when I when I when I when I come to take you on a date for a long walk in the park, you're like uh, no, nah, I want a five star restaurant. Like, like, what are you like? Wait a minute, what are, what are you talking about? So you know see, I mean? because she says she liked long walks in the park, does not mean she does not like a five star restaurant. I understand that. I understand that. But what so you she should have said, I like long walks in the park and five star restaurants. No, but it's, no. But it's the same thing as energy. Any energy, you, the energy you. that you give off is how people are going to treat you. I thank believe that in any capacity, if you give off sucker energy, people are going to take advantage of you. Preach. Stop Preach. saying sucker. I Preach. don't like that word. I don't like that word. Why not? <laughs> Why not? It's suckers Why not? in the world. But that's, a, that's a real thing. That's a real thing. I'll be feeling, I'll be feeling a lot of times, like, we will talk about, like, yo, you can give off sucker vibes, and this is how people want to come at you, even in terms of... Even if you're not one. Okay. Well, no, well, no if, well, if you're not a sucker, you never giving off sucker vibes. You just, it's, it's not nothing, it's not anything that you can do. It's just your aura, your being. It is, because you kind of can, like, you got it, my bad. Like you this. got it's, it. Like, no, men respect men. Right. Men but when you, men but when you a man, day. but 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 when you're a man and you going up against the boy and you saying you got it, the boy gonna think you a sucker. But see, you don't care. You don't care. But uh, but that's but that's, right? well, that's why that's why that's why right. like, it's a boy. But that's why the saying is men respect men. 
you know what I'm saying? It's it's not boys respect men to this because it doesn't matter. It's a different level because the boy is trying to see where he stands in the totem pole of trying to be a man. But okay. real men, but I must have joined well because we're not gonna get into no rap joint. But the nigga Styles, he got a he got a rhyme where he says, "Boys fight, men kill." You know what I'm saying? Type thing. Like I understood that it's not about the. The literal, the literalness of it. Right. You don't want people to kill him, but he's just like, yo, these are the levels that people go at it. But it's about the energy that you give off. It's the same yeah. thing. If like, like in his example, not not the young lady, because I don't know, I don't know that young lady. But yeah. if you give off, uh, if you always over sexualizing everything, you can't be mad when somebody only wants to come at you with sex. You see what I'm saying? So if you keep, if you give off, for example, if your if your Instagram page is only half naked pictures, you can't be mad if when we meet up, I want to see you naked. <laughs> like I understand. Like no, I understand. I understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, it's like you can be all things. Like you, you can, you can be long walk in the park. You can five star. You can also be a low hood. But you gotta you also you gotta, watch, you gotta be cognizant of the energy that you're giving off. Though. You got you can you so, can like all you can be a freak, you can be you can like long walks, you can be all that at yep. the same time. But if you only constantly giving off one energy, this one thing, then how how is the world supposed to take the, the same thing he was saying with the, the guys? If all you say is, yo, I get money, I'm tr I'm spending money, I'm spending money. You can't be mad. You can't be. You can't look at a girl and be like, "Oh, she's a gold digger." Uh, well, of course. This, exactly. This is she's all you're giving me. But, this is all. This all you're giving the, me. Thank you. The Very thing good. is, too, is like, and we. I always bring it back to social media. I always bring it back there because, like, although it is not reality, it's reality for a lot of people. Like, they really feel like they like are well rep represented on social media when it's not. It's like you you are displaying certain things. And like you said, and so that's how they approaching you. But then you like, oh, well, that's not how I really am. But it's like you spend so much time on social media that that's that's what people that's no, what people this, think. This that's the exactly the point. That's, that's the point. That's exactly the point yeah. that I'm trying to make. You right. have a reference to people and to right. most people is your social media. Right. Like your point of reference, what people look at the most about you is your social media. So when you give off these type of energy, if you give off a false sense of self, you can't be right. mad if people believe that version of you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like people right. are going to believe that version of whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? I don't take social media serious at all, but and it's 2022. Like that's your point of reference. You can be whatever you want. The perception you can have the any perception that you want. You get you take all your money out the bank and put it on the table, and people think you think think that you got a million dollars. You know what I mean? You got a five thousand dollars, right? You see what I'm saying? Like, right. but, but that's that's people's point of reference. So then, when you only got five thousand dollars and and the chick is is coming at you, you don't put the, the whole five thousand seventeen different times on the table. And, and 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 the chick is looking at you like, yo, um, I was thinking about this uh, Chanel bag. You can't be mad at her, right? Right. That's that. What he said. Social media. I always tell people this: social media is a lot less entertaining than people want to give it credit for, because it's the new. It first off, what is social media? The world's biggest sounding board. A lot, I always keep telling y'all this, tell people this all the time. A lot of people don't have people that they can just vent to and talk to. So where could I go to get off my inner thoughts that if that it can work two ways? If people are sympathetic to what I'm saying, it's going to work in my favor. But if mm -hmm. people are looking at me like, you tripping, I can always come back with this retort. Oh, I'm not talking about me. It's cloud nine. Like the Temptation song. What does the Temptation song say? Cloud nine. You can be what you want to be. That's what social media is. Now, right. like Will said, 
So you put a certain energy out there, but I'm supposed to just give you the benefit of doubt of not being that thing that you continuously keep putting out. Just I'm just thinking to myself, nah, even though she's showing me her breast and her ass, something's telling me she's more than that. But that's <laughs> all you putting out there. Like, so but, I mean, but you, but you very well could be like, oh, she could be something more than that. You could. Yeah, if you're a sucker, because that's a sucker way of thinking. Yeah, no, but it's the energy that she gives yeah. because I only, if you keep putting that out, I just, that's what I know you for. I'm not digging under the surface. I know you as. Thank you. But you, but, but, oh, I don't know. Because you're saying that's what I know you for. That's what she's portraying, right, on there. If but, this if you also you know, but if you also know that it's not reality and people could no. put out there what they want, like you, it's, but it's it the only point of reference. It's the only point of reference that I have of of you is th these pictures. These it's are the the representations. Only point of reference. Thank you. So that's where that's where we starting. That's where we starting. This, this is my point of reference for you. So that's where we starting. So when you come at me like, yeah, you know, um, I like to sit around the house in a t-shirt uh, and and some and some big sweatpants. Be like, whoa, whoa, whoa! But you were sitting around the house. And uh, don't you got a pool in your backyard and you wear a bikini every day? Oh, okay. <laughs> the illusion. The illusion. But that's what it is. But what that's that's I think that's what that's what I was trying to say. You gotta be careful of that illusion. Because when people when people uh reference you or or, or interact with you, that's what that's what's in their head. That's right. that's what they come in. That, that's, you know what I mean? That that's what they're gonna think about. And it ain't just dudes. It ain't just dudes looking at women saying that. Because I got friends, that one particular friend, and we still cool. This dude was all on social media talking about he just finished finished spending $30,000 in the last three nights because of this, that, and third. I went to this place, that place, this place, that place. And I knew he went to those spots because I was supposed to go through too. But then when me and you go out, yo, man, buy me a drink. I'm like, nigga, did you spend all 30 of the thousand? <laughs> <laughs> like what the hell? Like, like what the hell? Like, so you don't right. got nothing, you don't got nothing left, which is funny to me. That's like when a motherfucker be like, yo, if somebody told me how much money they got, you'd be like, yo, let me borrow hundred dollars. And they might say something like, um, I'm about to buy a house. And I'm like, what nigga, you a hundred dollars short if you give it to me? <laughs> like, 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 like you're not gonna be able to close this deal because you gave me a hundred dollars. Like, yo, man, they told me, they told me tw Can't 30, They told me 30,000. And if I give you a hundred, I only got 29, nine. I'm like, oh, and the deal is just gonna fall through. But this is what I'm talking about, fronting and stuff like that. People, people do it all the time. And like you said, but you, like Will said, but you want us to give you benefit of the doubt. But you can be all those things. By you being all those things, me being who I am, I'm going to I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt in my mind until you mm -hmm. something else. Mm -hmm. But initially, this is the kind of time you want. We've all seen those pictures online where it's mostly women it's because dudes they don't we don't really have those we don't have much to work with in terms of that. The woman that's scantily dressed, she's wearing pretty much less than nothing, and they'd be like. Is this first date attire? I'd be like, hell yes, <laughs> the first date attire. Hell yes. Like, this is going to be one hell of a first date. Like, you, first off, you're not my woman, and you coming out dressed like that, I'm thinking straight Rebe Jackson. I'm up here saying a B. Ooh, I'm like, it's about to get crazy tonight. Or at least at best, you wear something crazy, where you want to go? To the club, cause I need to dance all night and grind and do whatever. We ain't we we not wasting this cheap scantlet outfit on sitting down somewhere having a conversation. Go ahead. That's why I'm retarded on my page. Like I'm, I'm all over the place. I might put a a, a sexy picture. I'm a male bash. I'm a Thank God, I'm a fucking uplift my men. I'm a uplift my women. So you can just get everything because I'm retarded in real life. Oh yes, I, that I can I can I, I can attest to that. I can attest to I'm that. I'm definitely retarded. So my page represents, and I'm not trying to make fun of, you know, because I don't even think we can use that word no more, but I'm I am ill. Not rap too tight. So 
That's cool. Is your glass is your glass finished? That's all I need to know. Um, oh. It's well, finished. When it gets finished, that's 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 the hourglass. That's the hourglass turning it's up. It's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. When I we go off of once you stop drinking, you know, I, we don't want to turn this into an only fan and every day I'm <laughs> So I don't want you to start drinking like, oh, there's all you already on your joint line. Oh, it's getting hot in here. I just was yeah. fixing myself up, but as you can tell, I don't have any breast assist. All I have is chest. See that? Nice chest. Well, I'm pretty sure the guys that are watching this episode, they're going to appreciate the 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 fire edge and the and the tiger print and everything and, and, and the Vincent and the Vincent Van Gogh in the background. Don't do that. My cousin painted this, Damon Stevenson. We have artists in our family. Okay. I'm gonna lift it up so y'all can see the whole thing. Hold on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't Jesus Christ me. Look, y'all. Don't it's get a drunk and drop it. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. 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 yeah, my my wife, my wife bought this from the store. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know which one. I put it up though. Uh, and as you can no, see, that was that's <laughs> I'm on Mars. So nah, uh, yeah. that's, that's hand painting. Mm -hmm. He did that Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Was All it right, fun? There's been another episode of Ocean's View. Um, you know, continue to take care of yourself and everybody else. And we'll be back next week. This episode dropping on Monday. Peace. Peace. Peace.